All right, we are back with the Resident Evil event. Uh, we just finished up with the Resident Evil 2 remake, and now we are diving back into a uh, more traditional speed running. Uh, up next is going to be Resident Evil 7 with Catlink. So tell us more about the game. Hello, uh, everyone. This is going to be new game easy. Uh, with me uh, right now is Marforia. You'll be hearing her voice every now and again. Mar, say hi. Hello, hello, everyone. I uh, hope everybody's having a good night or a good night, good day, whatever it is for you. Uh, we're going to get yeah. right into the run because there's a long <laughs> intro sequence. Anybody who's played this game, you understand oh, yeah. what I'm talking about. Uh, so we're going to go on uh, on go. Three, two, one, go. And All we're right. off. And we're off to the wonderful Hey Baby. Hey Baby. Oh, we uh, love Mia. <laughs> oh, we love Mia. Um, I think I've learned how to say hey baby in far too many languages at this point. Uh, I usually primarily speed on this game in English. Uh, Japanese is technically faster. However, since some new skips have been discovered that you'll see later on in the game, uh, it actually only saves like half a second. So it's really not too crazy unless you're going for that optimal run, I suppose. But eh, you know, English is, is just fine. Yeah. And, uh, Bye, baby. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was gonna say any language besides English saves half a second, but you gotta you gotta hand it. The English voice acting in this game is so good. Oh yeah, for sure. I I, I love the dialogue with uh with Marge and Lucas and just the whole family in general is just a lot of fun you to listen right. to in English. Although I Japanese is also pretty fun because it. it's just like the intensity is so much oh, more. There's so much emotion in their voice in Japanese. This. It's crazy. Oh, for sure. So I just want to note that, uh, like, you can't skip this uh, for, for anybody who's played this game. Of course, you may understand that you just can't skip cutscenes. Uh, we're kind of forced to watch all of them. Uh, there's only one cutscene that we can skip, and that's at the tail end of the game. Hey, Why you can only skip one cutscene? Yeah, that's a no good idea. question, actually, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's because it's they play a movie for you right in the middle she's of the game, so alive. it's you. It's the only she's one you can back. skip. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, so I actually had a question, because uh, I know, I know uh, way, way back, back. Um, back. this Somehow. used to get ran on different versions, but Maybe you guys use the 0D version, right? Yes. Uh, so so we, tell us more about that. There so, are three different versions so of this game. There is the 0D version, 0Z version, and Cero, uh, like the, the regular version that most NA or EU people happened. would play. Um, so Jap uh, Japan has some laws against you know decapitation or any sort of uh, removal of limbs. They don't like that, so they have a censored version. Um, for speedrunning, it's actually pretty great because it saves us 25 seconds, which is a lot. Um, just because they cut out animations, they cut out uh, any excessive like limb removal, one would say. Um, so save the limbs, save the time. The, the Cero Z version actually still saves time, uh, but not as much because they do still have some censorship in the Cero Z version, but it's definitely not to the same level. What's really neat about the Sarah D version, so um, you s you save time at three different points. You save time at Jack 1 if you're running New Game Plus, because um, Jack has a different starting point. At Jack 2, his death animation there is much quicker because his torso doesn't get blown off, so you can leave that area really quick. And then the biggest time save is the snake key, where you don't have to insert your hand into the deputy. You can just pick it up right off the table. So you guys will see that here pretty soon. Well, not soon, yeah. but you know. Well, that one not so right. soon, but... <laughs> You will see it. Uh, you will notice the censorship. Like some parts are just very, very obvious censorship. Um, some people always ask me, so why censored? I don't like this one. You don't see the gore. And it's like, you know, I agree. I do enjoy me some gore, but unfortunately uh, it is what it is. And you know, in the name of speedrunning, you gotta save that time. Yeah, like Ethan's hand doesn't get chopped off, Lucas' arm doesn't get chopped off, well, lots of different things. Retry. You can Ooh. save the limbs, save the free, save the time. Yep. Um, so you'll notice I do a few retries in this game. So the reason why we do retries is because Ethan kind of has like a odd stamina system, you one would say, uh, where sometimes he gets a little bit of a boost uh, from retries, and sometimes it does place you forward a little bit. 
And we also changed the uh, FPS in this as well. So the reason why we changed the FPS in this um, is because the hitboxes also kind of have a weird thing. So if you go to 30 FPS, it actually makes the hitboxes a little bit smaller, uh, which allows us to go through certain doorways or get by enemies a little bit quicker, which is nice. Uh, kind of, it can, it can kind of get a little uh, nerve-wracking because <laughs> you have to be kind of frame perfect on some of them, but it's all good. We do a trick later on too with the FPS swap where um, there's going to be a, a jump scare with a crawler and when you swap your FPS to 30, you can literally just phase right through that guy. Oh yeah, hmm. uh, there's there's a, there's a little bit of that um, hitboxes. How do they work? <laughs> um, I just want to... Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, no, go, go for it. I was going to say, because I, I know Mar pointed out that there are some new skips I haven't seen that you guys have been doing lately. There are some new strats. Uh, yeah, there lots are. of new strats in this category. It's pretty, pretty nuts. Right, so I'm excited to see them. I'm very excited to see them. So we actually skipped the uh, the head right there because um, if you just look at the wall, basically you just skip the head animation that you get there usually. Oh, head. Yeah. That's okay. Partial 100%. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. True. We do need that on 100%. Uh, the cat also runs 100%, so we love it. I run it occasionally. Uh, sometimes I just go to update the world record, but it's a fun category in my opinion. Like, it's a lot of collecting coins, files, uh, shooting the Mr. Everywheres, stuff like that. That's, uh, that's a whole thing on its own. It's very confusing and hard to remember everything. Uh, so yeah, we finally found Mia. Uh, Three-year prank, by the way. Um, <laughs> Game's I don't over. know. I don't know why Ethan would think uh, it would be a prank. His wife <laughs> must have some pretty interesting pranks, if that is the case. Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell so right now we can't on? pass Mia. Like even if I try, Baby, like I'm I'm trying real hard years. to get by Three her, years. but now we're we're kind of just stuck behind her really for the next years? like couple minutes. We get a I nice, like lovely the... tour of this basement, and uh, Kat also did her first little bit of menuing here at the beginning of this run. Yeah, so interesting. Well, we'll talk about the menu right now. So wherever I leave the cursor, no matter what I do, it will always be there. So we do pre-planning on the menuing. So I deleted this? the file that was here and then put it on the bolt cutters because that's going to be the next item we use. I think it's this way. So menuing is kind of nice like that. I really hope they keep that for RE8. Uh, really, really hope they keep that for RE8 because it's like my favorite thing. Like when I played RE2R, uh, or RE2 Remake and RE3 Remake, and they didn't have the static cursor. I was a little upset, not gonna lie. Made menuing a little bit of a pain, but... Big same. <laughs> RE7 and that's like the, my favorite thing about this, is just the menuing is very... That wasn't me! Very clean. I didn't! Yeah, like it... Speak. Oh, go ahead. Tell me what's going on. Oh, I was gonna say, speaking of which, I assume you're both very excited for RE8 coming out. Oh, oh yeah. definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Also, Mia's mouth did not move there. I always love that. <laughs> um, yeah, RE8, I'm excited. Like, the minute, like, it comes out, uh, obviously, I'm going to casually play through it, but I'm just excited to see what we can do with it. Can we break it? Can we go out of bounds? What's the inventory like? What are the weapons like? Like, how are the enemies? Like, what is the AI like? Oh, okay. Like, there's if there's new mechanics. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, we're all super hyped for that. Can't it wait can to break time. it. <laughs> We're all excited to get in and start labbing, essentially. Mm-hmm. Routing, labbing. It's like, there. the RE7 community is uh, very hyped for another first-person RE game, because personally for me, I'm very much about first-person, because it just... It, it, it just feels more comfortable for me. I know some people aren't a fan of the first-person. Trust me, I hear you. I feel you. We all have our preferences. First-person just happens to be mine. <laughs> It's also super immersive that way, and it's something really special about this game. Oh, for sure. One second. I have to listen to a few. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. So there's like a, a cue, an audio cue. So after that plays, you'll be able to hear, uh, like you'll be able to know when you have to go. 
so that's why I was like, okay, I need to hear the cue for a minute. All right, so we're gonna have our first uh, little encounter. Oh, uh, uh, what's that? Oh, oh, hi, Mia. How you doing, girl? What's up, girl? <laughs> All right, so happy to see you. we are going to be doing some uh, what we call as Mia One. Mia One is a uh, bane of my existence. I am not uh, the biggest fan of this. So currently there is a strat for this. I'm going to probably play it safe because sometimes if I do it, she'll smack me on the butt and I'm not too fond of that. <laughs> Wait. Wait. She's very friendly. You know, she Wait. just misses us so much. I was gonna say, we have to get through this whole interaction first. <laughs> it's so lovely. Whee. Grabbing with his hands, come on, Ethan. Uh, uh, Ethan is like the most emotionless, like, he has like no... I can feel her like, if I got stabbed in the hand, I would not be just being like, what? Huh? He's supposed to be like a self-insert sort of deal, right? Kind of. Uh, in fairness, if I got stabbed in the hand, I'd probably uh, be a bit more surprised. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what are you, Mia? All right. So we want to tap three times. Tapping three times allows her to get up at her soonest moment, hopefully. Should be up. There we go. Nice. Good job. All right. Now for me a one, when and our beautiful axe. So while Kat's doing this fight, so um, sh we'll be using our axe, and the axe damage is tied to frame rate. So the higher your FPS, the more damage your axe will do. So Kat was able to do some heavy hits there into Mia and kill her rather quickly. So I called um, it. I called it. I was gonna get the left swing. I knew it. Yeah. I'm so cursed with left swings. I hate it so much. So you usually want to get a right swing there mm -hmm. uh, for the most optimal damage. Uh, but unfortunately, sometimes this game just uh, isn't a fan of me and likes to give me the left swing. But that's fine. You still killed her rather quick. I, really as long as she goes down, the what run continues. Man, what the mm -hmm. fuck is going on? And we didn't take a ton of damage, so that's always a plus. There should be a way out. Oh yeah. The attic. Damage and on easy is like, it's very hard to die. Like the only reason why you would die is if you got like double tapped. And double tapping can happen in this game where you take like two heavy hits and you just did. So I actually have a question about, uh, cause I know you guys uh, made Mia stand up in a certain way. Uh, how was it found to be consistent that doing like the three little taps would make Mia stand up at the earliest that she could? Because I know that can take a while for uh, some people if they do it wrong. Um, so it's just kind of depending on how close you are to her. Um, so we just kind of figured out like what the distance was. And then I found that three taps is consistent for me. Some people have different ways of doing it. Yeah, some people have like a visual cue. There's like a little white spot on the floor near the yeah. wall. And I used to use that. Yeah, so you can also look, like take your camera, angle it down, look at that, and then tap forward a couple times and then move your cam camera back to the center. Because that whole interaction there is also on a timer. So yeah. as long as you're um, standing in front of Mia at a specific distance and like 10 seconds pass, she can get up rather quickly. So the first part of censorship in this game, they actually changed the screwdriver to whatever this is, a little a tiny pitchfork. Which <laughs> is way more violent, in my opinion, than getting stabbed with a screwdriver, but okay. <laughs> and now the next part of censorship. Don't even need to look away. <laughs> there you go. It just blacks out the screen and... You still have your hand, and it likes to freak out sometimes. It like indents. It's like really glitchy, as you see. Yeah, that's trippy. <laughs> yeah, because it's not supposed to be there, but. And we still got our hands, so you know. Yeah, and. Can't you know, complain. The, these little bits of censorship don't save time or anything, but it's just always funny to point out. <laughs> it's like uh, anytime I run this category, uh, like it's like the first thing people always mention. They're like, why does he still have his hand? Well, you see, Saro D is a version of this game that does, uh, does get rid of that. 
save also, the limb. Also, I did a retry the there because it does put you ahead a little bit. It's like a sweaty gamer uh, retry. You don't have to do it. It's just when you're pushing for better times, it is nice to do. All right, for me, it's you. Did I get it? I got it! I nice got one. it! <laughs> well <Yes>. done. <laughs> Oh, it's literally the like, you're already you. dead, and then you just 30 hits in one. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what Dude. did you do to Mia? Oh, those are the famous Mia yeets. <laughs> Why is she doing the splits? <laughs> so that's Mia. Um, you can yeet her. Uh, if you push her with any object, she will just automatically, like, her body will freak out. And what? Some Sometimes that happens. Um, her legs. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Well done, Cat. <laughs> oh, that was great. You can actually get her stuck in the air sometimes. Like it's it's hilarious how much her like her yeeting can affect. Because at a certain point, her body will just freeze. So sometimes if she's like in the air, her body will freeze and just stay there. Jesus. Oh my God, that was the best thing that's ever happened. That was really good. <laughs> Oh, oh, we still got a sub-15 guest house, so, you know, can't complain there. That's good. Also, I saw a few people asking this in chat. That's why the game's on low res, so cat can get maximum oh. FPS. Yeah, so... A few people we, were asking. Yeah, so we need the game to be as low, like, basically we play the game on 720, everything on low, everything off, basically just to get the highest maximum FPS we possibly can, specifically for that one shot. That one shot is something that you can only do if you have over 180 FPS. Anything a little bit lower is just makes it so much harder. So the higher, the better. Kind of like RE2 Remake with the knife. Yeah, same thing. All right, so get to meet the... It's good! The lovely Baker family. Lucas! And then Lucas doesn't get his arm chopped off here. Oh yeah, no arm, no arm loss. Also glitchy. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it like you can see it like it detach for a second and then it goes back. Come here, boy. Let's do this. Come on. Cat can recite every single scene in this game. No joke. For obvious reasons, I'm not gonna recite certain parts. Oh yeah. <laughs> I do love this scene, though, I will say. <laughs> it's a super iconic scene. It's the best one in the game. Like, this scene and the Lucas TV scene is, like, my two favorite monologue-type scenes are just, like, overall visual and how it's performed. Like, the voice actors did a fantastic job in this. Agreed. I have a question for uh, both of you here. Sure. Mm -hmm. Would you eat the food? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Looks like shrimp, so, um, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, just the can of, uh, mystery meat on the table that's used as a candle. It, it says heat on it. It's just I like a... I thought it said meat. I think it no, does it says say heat. Meat. It oh, says I guess heat. with the low that's graphics, it says heat. <laughs> no, you're right. It does say heat. <laughs> really? Yeah. I thought it was like a can of spam or something. It, it does. I think that's the point, but yeah, it says, uh, it says heat. I don't know why, but yeah. Oh. Alrighty. Good old Jack Hallway. Let's see if we can get Hallway Skip. I doubt it, but we'll try. So what Kat's gonna do is she's gonna manipulate Jack's movement a little bit so she can pick up that hatch key, and then we're gonna interact with the Ox door so um, we can go ahead and spawn the deputy scene. And um, it's okay, no Hallway Skip, but that's that's totally okay. Jack was a little forward there. Um, yeah, so if you get the shovel hit, you're not getting hallway skip. Um, it, it sucks, it happens, uh, but hallway skip only really saves like three seconds, like mm -hmm. if at like 2.5 to three seconds. So even if you don't get it, um, you don't need it. It's not necessary. Yeah, I'd say like once you're going for like the top three times in uh, this category and New Game Plus is when you would start incorporating it. Oh yeah. Um, so when Mar and I were doing a drawing tablet race for RE7, I actually got hallway skip and I was actually just very displeased with the game. I was just like, how dare you? You mean like with like the pen and like... Yeah, like our drawing tablet. Oh yeah, we were tablets. doing it on a drawing tablet. It was great. You know, it was a good the, time. With the pen and everything. Zoe, right? And what the uh, and shut up and listen no. to how do you move? 
How do you move? Uh, use the drawing tablet and the pen. So whichever like way you swipe, the camera will turn. Yeah. And, and then like, are, are there like buttons on the tablets that you program for like WASD? Uh huh. Well, we oh. also use these little like shortcut remotes too, like these Bluetooth shortcut remotes that we put WASD on. Oh. But it was literally like drawing tablet, that shortcut tablet, and no keyboard, hey, nothing else. <laughs> yep. On, back up. It, it was, was a uh, it was a lot of fun. Sir, I had a good time. I mean, How did you shoot? Uh, tapping on the drawing <laughs> tablet. Tap on the drawing tablet. Right. Yeah, you just you just furiously oh, tap sometimes, and it's really funny. You understand. I gotta get out oh. of here. Mm -hmm. It made a lot of boss strats really uh, You're not listening to me. interesting. Crazy yeah, in nerve wracking, but well, we made it. You you exactly Somehow we made it. <laughs> Uh, I've also run this game one-handed. I've also run this game on a DDR pad with custom DDR pads on the side because unfortunately one DDR pad wasn't enough for key, uh, key inputs. So I had to create my own using uh, makey makey, some paper and some conductive tape. You've done the voice command one? Oh yeah, also speed around this game in voice commands. Uh, my F key or you know your uh, your confirm right. key. I, I what was it again? It was gimme. Yeah, <laughs> she said gimme all night. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying gimme, gimme. Anytime I wanted to pick up an object, gimme. It was great. That was a fantastic a run. A pocket knife. What will I ever do with this? Now go. Open up. Open up the box with duct, duct tape. <laughs> What am I gonna do with a knife? And other boxes. <laughs> I like how he immediately asks, what am I gonna do with a knife? Starts using it, immediately break open a box, cut open some tape. It's a powerful pocket knife, I have to say. Mm. Hey, we gotta get the so, we are now gonna be doing Jack 1. Uh, meet our lovely uh, officer face to face, I guess, in, in the garage. He's not too happy with us, but uh, yeah. Doesn't see Jack behind him. Deputy Cheval. Rest in peace, my no dude. Head. Right, his head doesn't like slice off now. Nope. All right. So we're just gonna wait right here, wait for him to attack, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And there he goes. And he's done. Well done. Grab the heal. Heal up from the hit. And that's that's Jack One. Super easy. Super simple. Just slash him with the knife. Shoot him a few times. And he's done. This animation then, uh, here is the best. <laughs> okay. So do you have him like hit you to cancel out of getting in the car and then he just gets in the car afterward or? Yep. It's basically just a animation cancel. Yeah. And then you don't have to actually get into the car. You can just let him hit you. He gets in. And that's it. Yeah. The, the old strat had us go into the car and then go right back out. But then we found that, you know, timing that hit going into the car will just cancel that. Whole, you know, makes it a little bit faster. Yeah, that actually saves like about a second, which is pretty nice. Yeah, very convenient. Mm-hmm. So, right, shotgun. this is where we start picking up some of our ammo as well, so Kat just picked up some shotgun shells on that shelf, and there's going to be quite a few shotgun shells that we're picking up here in the main house that we're mainly going to use for Marge. So yeah. we don't, we won't be uh, getting our shotgun until the end of this segment, but yeah, now is when we start picking up handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, various ammo on a very specific route. Yeah, uh... And also, uh, there are some things called fast drops. I did a fast drop when I was, after I got the ox statuette there. Um, they don't save like a ton of time, but they do add up because there are a lot of them. Yeah, there's various ones. Well, essentially what you want to do is line Ethan up with the edge and then kind of ease your mouse into it. And then he does a different animation when he drops, as opposed to him like kind of jumping up and then dropping, he just kind of like falls in. And mm -hmm. it saves anywhere between like 0.25 to like half a second. But then since there's quite a few quick drops that can add up <laughs> to full seconds, which is nice. All right, Jack, be nice to me. So Kat is now going to start her setup for Out of Bounds. 
and essentially what we're gonna do is kind of keep Jack at a distance. We're gonna, uh, Kat's gonna do a couple shots to Jack up here in the bathroom, and she's gonna drop down and finish the quad pendulum puzzle downstairs. So this can be a little tricky, but you know, essentially what we wanna do is complete our puzzles before Jack can get to us. And so, and she's also gonna do a couple shots here on the floor to make sure to get Jack's attention. And Jack will start to drop down here rather soon. Hopefully, there he is. There he is. Oh, yep. perfect. This, this is this is a good one. Yeah. Still, <laughs> still shooting on the floor to get his attention, making sure he doesn't bust out of that wall, which is fine. Gonna make sure that he stays back here in the hallway because we still need to complete one more shadow puzzle right up here. Because if Jack is too close, we won't be able to complete this puzzle. And this particular puzzle is pretty forgiving, so we can... Yeah, this is like the most forgiving puzzle. Like, you can literally be far off of it, and it will still be like, yeah, you did it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a really nice one. So usually in the hallway, we wouldn't want to shoot him in the leg there, but because uh, he was a little too close, I decided, hey, we're going to shoot him in the leg, so that way he uh, stays doesn't... There a little longer. Yeah. Animations are very dependent on this uh, section. Yes, sir, that's... Yeah, that was, that was a good one right there. So um, the last bit, we shoot him in the leg and then get to a very specific spot. And there you go, right out of bounds. And you got that animation you wanted there on the stairs because when he... I, I love that animation. We don't get it very often sometimes. Sometimes you'll get it more... Like, you get it more consistently on New Game Plus, but on New Game, it's just so random. Like, sometimes you'll get the lunge, sometimes you get the drop. But yeah, so we're just going to be getting the red key card early. If the game will let me drop. There we go. Yeah, sometimes that can be silly. All right, so we got the right key card early. Usually you wouldn't get that until later in the game, but uh, we get it right there. Also, good job on the out of bounds. Yeah, I was uh, kind of nervous on that. Oh, you did great. That was, that was perfect. It's actually a possibly dumb question here. Um, if you ask for out of bounds, why do you need to do the eagle puzzle still? So this game is very trigger dependent. Uh, it's very scripted. So you can't just go all willy-nilly and do things, otherwise certain things in the game won't load. Yeah, so you have to do that that eagle puzzle, and then you have to do the clock puzzle upstairs. Um, so otherwise... the game's like, oh yeah, you got the... Uh... So you did the... Like, if you don't do the clock puzzle, it'll be like, oh, you didn't get the red key card. How mm -hmm. did you get that so early? Hmm. All right, now Jack 2. Jack 2, don't, don't be mean. <laughs> So there's a new strat for this. It's a very uh, interesting strat, but we're gonna try and see if I can get it. Yeah, so um, for this- I didn't change my weapon! Oh, that's oh. cool. <laughs> I was so nervous. Okay, Oh, Jack. you're good, you're good. What, why, what, what is he's, sir? He's Jack. right up on there, interesting. Is he okay? okay? I'm just gonna retry that. That's was okay, yeah. Was he all right? Yeah, sometimes he does that. Um, and just swap. Yeah, there we go. Enhance. Yeah, there we go. I I was so distracted. Sorry, I got really nervous. I've been nervous about this fight the entire time. It's okay. Just, the retry is really close. I've never seen him like creep like that. Oh, he does that, and it's really annoying because he won't stop <laughs> until you like kick him. We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. It's cool. It, 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 it didn't happen. We didn't, we'll use the same uh, Men in Black uh, mind control thing that they used in the last run. So for this for this strat, um, we primarily use the enhanced ammo for this, and we have to get some really quick shots right here on his growth. And with this particular strat, um, you know, we'll grab the chainsaw when when necessary and do do the damage to Jack's head that way. But um, yeah, Cat Cat will be executing a really really cool strat for this one. Give her some time to focus. And you got it, GG's! <laughs> oh man, Did you that skip was... like the whole like plunging the chainsaw into him? And... Yeah, that you was skip all that the animations. Was... That was really good, yeah, because the timing on that fight is really, really tight in terms of, you know, getting the shots off and making sure that, um, you know, we skip two different animations there. So Kat was able to skip, you know, the head slice animation and then, you know, this one right here at the end. So that was amazing. Yeah, that, that was great. Unfortunate on the retry, but... Uh... It's called RNG manipulation. That's what you did. Oh yeah. Also, if you retry, the store likes to close on you. It's kind of unfortunate. That's okay. Yeah, it is what it is. Marathon look. 
and I've never seen the animation skill. Of that. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah that's a, it's a, that's a really so that's like the strat. newest strat. Um, it's kind of hard to do because the quick shots have to be so fast, and that's why we changed to 30 FPS to make basically make the window to get those shots in a little bit wider. That it makes uh, executing that strat a little bit, uh, you know, helps our sanity a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so the nerves are out, you know, Jack 2 is over. Yeah, and Everything's going to be smooth sailing from here on out, right? Yeah, everything's perfect now. Yes. All right, so now we're going to uh, get our final dog head that we need for the dog door and get on out of here. All right. So now we're going to be getting the broken shotgun. Some would ask, oh, why why the broken shotgun? Wouldn't you be able to just use the other shotgun? This shotgun is my favorite gun in the entire game. You know, the Albert's great. Uh, the grenade launcher is great. But the shotgun, this shotgun specifically, uh, it only does two, two shots, but it does an insane amount of damage in comparison to the four shot. Um, so that's why we use it more. Um, it's just cooler. Yeah, and you know the ammo that we pick up for it is you know there's there's a there's a decent amount laying around, but then um, you know the other shotgun since it's less powerful, you essentially have to use more shots for enemies and bosses and whatnot. So it definitely is worth it just to grab the broken shotgun and then get this repair kit for free right here to fix it. Mhm. Mm so we're gonna pre repair the shotgun right away so we can use it for uh, our lovely lady Mar. So for that, we just go into the trailer because you want to activate that phone call as quick as possible. So what you would do, go into the trailer far enough, go back out, and it should come up. I know, we get to hear more Zoe. Thankfully, we don't have to answer every single phone call in this game. I think we have this one and then one more left, and that'll be it. Is there a way to get it out? It's 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 pretty pretty nice that you can actually skip some but some you do need to answer just because it allows you to go forward like i said the game's very scripted and even later we just really we just needed like for the trailer one later um you know we just have to kind of trigger that phone call but not actually answer it so that's that's always neat get out of here yeah so you have to do a quick touch of the trailer and then you're on your way i just hope you can handle my mother your mother be careful. He'll be looking for you. <laughs> oh no! Everyone's favorite lady in this game. Not Mia, not Zoe, but Marge. <laughs> yep. So we actually pick up, so I personally pick up the uh, gunpowder there before uh, going to Old House. You don't need to. You can actually pick it up on your way out of Old House. But it's for personal me, preference. Yeah, the menuing in, in this game is actually very... Uh, Forgiving. Yeah, lots of people, like, you know, some of us will um, use what other people have done, and then other folks will see what other people have done and then just kind of personalize it to how it fits them best. So, you know, as long as you can get to your items as quick as possible with, you know, as with the less key presses and whatnot, you know, you're fine. You're, you're free to menu however you'd like. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Also, Marge's lip sync here is terrible. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but it's, it's just very slow for some reason. It also, there's been a sense. recent patch to this game. Bug fix. That was? Bug fix. Bug fix. <laughs> Bug fix, that's it. If you look what? on Steam, look it up just... RE7 patch notes. It just says bug fix. Yep. Do we know what bug it fixed? No, just bug fix. No. Oh. <laughs> no details, no nothing, just bug fix. Just bug fix. One moment on my end. Hey, no worries. And of course, <laughs> we traverse through probably the scariest part in the entire game. Good old centipede alley. The there wall of friends. doom, as I call it. <laughs> yeah, this is, where, this is where I would have noped out of this game. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I remember those uh, centipedes aren't native to Louisiana. Nope, they're Japanese centipedes, I believe. It's really yeah. weird, but, you know, why they're here, we don't know, but... They're eh. cool! They're cool looking. At least they, they just look like JPEGs. <laughs> 
All right, so we're gonna grab the beautiful crank that every RE game usually has. Of course. <laughs> of course. We're gonna kill this bug because he gets annoying. Yeah, if you don't kill him, he will get in your face and start attacking you and stuff, especially when you try to put in this crank. So just uh, swipe, swipe him out of the way. NBD. Mm-hmm. All right, Marge, don't notice me, please. Do not notice me, senpai. It's interesting because, yeah, on easy, Marge's, like, point of view is, you know, very, it's very interesting. Like, you know, she doesn't really see you, so you can kind of get a little bit close to her. So um, we aim for that radiator, and, yep, we're oh, good. There we go. We are good. We're shoot that bug because that bug gets annoying. If you don't, he will also try to attack you and sometimes get in your way, and that, eh, that wastes time if he hits you. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. <laughs> but... Um, essentially, as long as you don't brush up against Marge, like, physically, she will not- she won't spawn bugs or anything like that at you. Oh, yeah. Are you- Also, uh, um, I can confirm, uh, it just says bug fix, bug fix on yep. February 24th. Yep. I- nobody knows what the bug fix was, but it was a bug fix. Also, Kat, are you on normal ammo for handgun? Yeah. Okay, cool. I felt so bad I didn't catch the enhanced ammo part at Jack too. Oh, so you're fine. I'm it's double just checking. It doesn't, it doesn't show the anim ammo all the time, so you just kind of have to hope. All right, so for this with Marge one, uh, all you gotta do is two shotgun shells and a handgun ammo. You know, one G17, and you're good. There you go. Easy. Let's get down to business, Marge. Before she can right. even say anything, she's down. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, as long as uh, you aim for those shots there, because sometimes shotgun spread there can be kind of annoying. A pain. <laughs> yeah, shotgun spread is not always the nicest. But yeah, you did that it. perfectly. Well done, Kat. Hey. <laughs> So, as a question for the upcoming fight, because I know I think normally if you don't do the out of bounds, there's more shotgun runs you can get. Um, how do you end up doing the damage to Mar? I guess we're gonna find that out. But um, yeah. like, what do you use in replacement of the shotgun shells, or do you find uh, different shotgun uh, shells? So we use enhanced ammo and we use shotgun shells. That's it. Yeah, for March 2, you need 12 shotgun shells, and you used to need all 10 enhanced rounds for your handgun, but there was a new strat found where, um, you know, you'll use a little bit less, like around, like, what, five or six for that strat? Yeah, most. Yeah. All right. All right, so we're going to do lantern skip. I do it very weirdly. So essentially, she'll be looking up at the ceiling and then dropping down at a very specific spot, and well done. <laughs> There it is. Wow. Yeah. Don't do what I do. I, I <laughs> Kat does this. She's the only one who does it like this, but I'm, it's it's great. <laughs> I'm the only one who does it, and I always take years off of people's lives every time because Good. everybody looks down, and then every runner, every like top runner too, is like, Cat, why don't you look down? Cat, please look down. For the love of God, please yeah. just look down. Because most folks will look down in the pit and line up with a specific plank and then walk it walk off, but Cat looks up backs up a little bit and then goes right off and you know it works for her though and we love it <laughs> then ethan's legs are just shattered yeah <laughs> <laughs> all righty march all right two. march two wish me luck all righty so for this fight we're going to do some very specific shots into marge we're going to do four right here in the window and then cat's going to do um she's going to empty out the rest of her shotgun right here we're going to stand at a very specific spot here so she spawns in this area and then time these shots very specifically um you don't want to shoot too fast nor do you want to shoot too slow and you want to be sure to um, reload as quick as possible while utilizing your animation reload cancels and then swap to your enhanced no that's okay. okay. We're gonna just go find her. <laughs> I, okay. I was pressing tab for some silly reason, and I didn't use. The... That's why. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say swap swap too early, which honestly that happened. All right, that come here, Marge. Now. Knife. <laughs> there we go. When in doubt, we got our knife. All right, Marge. You are a pain in my behind. And right. there she goes. She's God and dang, she's dead man. That is. Unfortunate. That's so okay. One shotgun round off, or was it? I was. Uh, I I didn't realize I didn't use two. That's yeah, because okay. um, 
yeah, you need to use all, all of those shots there. But what's great is with the backup strats here, there's tons of ammo up here. And, you know, you can also finish her off with a knife. So, you know, and we took not a lot of damage either. Yeah. By the way, good fight. Yeah, well done. Mm. It is what it is. You hate to see it. Marathon luck be damned. Well, that's okay. Yeah. You did get a perfect Mia 2. Yeah, Mia 2 was good. You know, Jack 2 after a retry was good. Yeah, Jack 2 yeah. Was, was amazing. Give it up for Kat, everyone. She's been she's been killing it. Spam, spam, spam those the, hypes in the chat. I've been grinding this The classy emote, the, the hyper much. emote. Get, that, get them hypers and claps there in the chat, folks. Yeah. I like I am a naturally I'm a very nervous person so unfortunately I I shake a lot. It is it, 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 not my favorite thing but hey. Well, you're doing great so far. It's okay. She you is know, killing it, folks. What's the I'm worst that could happen? Of, uh, just watching you drop into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> just looking up at the Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the lantern's getting Good yeah, old just, I've never seen it like that. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm the only one who does it. I, I, so the reason why I started doing it is because I saw one runner do it. And at the time, uh, that runner was, you know, pushing for world record. And, you know, I saw it and I was like, huh, I, you know, I'll give it a try. And I just turned out to really like it a lot more. So I was like, eh. So there's only one other runner that does it, but they don't run the game anymore. So... Technically, I guess I'm the only one now. <laughs> and now everyone who everyone's gonna do it this way now, because you do it with style. Exactly. It's the swag strats. <laughs> You're gonna destroy poor Ethan's legs by having him look up and then leap of faith it. I mean, hey, Ethan's a tank. I mean, he he took like a chainsaw to the arm, and um, oh god, chainsaws to everything. <laughs> I always thought that his first instinct was to block the chainsaw with his forearm. Yeah, to, I like, don't... like, running away. <laughs> I would have just gotten, right. like, crawled away somehow or anything, really. I, have, I feel like any move is better than blocking a chainsaw with your forearm. Yeah, so, man's a tank, you know, if he can, if he can block a chainsaw with his arm, I think his ankles and shins after, you know, 10 feet falls or whatever are, are just fine. <laughs> Alright, skip that call. Now I forget we're what done. that call is. I think it's... I think it's Lucas. I think it's Lucas, yeah. It's either Lucas or it's Zoe. I thought the one right there was Zoe and then the one that came next sure is Lucas. I'm pretty sure that's Zoe. Uh, yeah, and then the, the one in the trailer, trailer is, is Lucas, Lucas, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. And we were talking about trailer skip earlier, that this is where we're going to execute it. So Heck yeah. Kat's going to run up to the trailer and literally touch the corner. And that's essentially going to trick the game into thinking that, hey, you know, we explored the trailer and, um, you know, answered the phone call and all that stuff. So you actually don't have to answer the phone call or look into the fridge. You just have to make sure that phone rings. And once you do that, this next area in the basement starts to load. So you'll notice it's going to be grimier and nastier. <laughs> yeah. If you don't, uh, if you don't get that phone call to go off, it will just the the, the basement will be very uh, quiet. And it and won't nothing be, will happen. It won't be dark either. It'll just look the same. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Let's switch to the knife real quick. Uh, so this is going to be the crawler uh, that Marge was talking. Mar <laughs> Marge. It's oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So uh, All right, we're just going to gonna switch to 30 FPS, pop Ooh. right by him, and switch back. And we don't have to deal with them ever again. There we go. <laughs> Love it. You, you just exist past him. We phase right through him. He's invisible. Yep. Now, Kat, you're not the first person who's called me Marge. It's happened plenty of times. <laughs> Mar, Mar, Marge, whatever. <laughs> Where did he go? He was he still there. He, uh, oh. they, they, he's still chilling there. It's just you usually just phase by him and he gets confused and he's just like, wait, what? And then, of course, when you go through those double doors anyways, he despawns, so... Yeah. I feel bad for him. I uh, don't feel bad for him. just wanted to show off his surprise, and we just left. 
So now we're gonna head back upstairs. We're gonna do that clock puzzle we were talking about because again, you know, the game wants you to complete specific puzzles and specific events or else, you know, the next areas won't load. And um, we meant to mention this earlier. So since we did get the red key card early, you don't wanna insert it in early at all either. You wanna oh, make yeah, sure- Oh yeah, no, do not do that. Uh, yeah. The game will break. And if you did do that and you wonder why the game's not uh, loading up the TV or, you know, doing anything, it, it, yeah, that's why. Soft locked yourself slash hard locked yourself. Yeah, so don't don't touch that red key card. Don't do anything with the red key card except hold on to it until it's until you're ready to use it. Pretty much. All right. So now we're gonna do the final shadow puzzle. This is the most aimed puzzle anybody has to deal with. Uh, but if you just slightly right up, done. There you go. That was really fast. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yes. it's once you know the pattern for this shadow puzzle, it becomes very, very, very easy to deal with, thankfully. So for the shadow puzzles, do you use like the mouse to move it or like keyboard or because I've never truly understood how it's so precise. Both. It's a mix. Uh, so that puzzle, you just do a slightly right on your mouse and then slightly up and then you basically you're done. Some other puzzles require you to use like the uh, cr the crow, the bird puzzle. Usually that one requires you to do. Uh... Are you dead? No, you're not dead. Rip. All right. well, that's okay. He'll he'll stay back there for a little bit longer still. It's cool. All right, we go. Uh, but yeah, the the bird shadow puzzle is probably the only shadow puzzle where you'll maybe use your uh, keys. All right, time for Lucas's IRL stream. <laughs> He's a just chatting streamer, folks. Yeah, just sorry, IRL's gone. Just, just chatting streamer. <laughs> and if you're sensitive to any body horror and any nails getting ripped off, you know. Yeah, this would be your time to look away. Uh, Thank you for the heads up. We always like those here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one scene that, one of many scenes that Kat can recite word for word. I don't even have to look at the screen. I'll probably say the entire thing. I love it. <laughs> like his LCS jacket. <laughs> you know, you, you know, Zoe wants to do with this. Oh, wait. She thinks this thing is special. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, Ethan. That ain't special. This, this, this right, right here is special. Is special. You see, Ethan, not everybody wants to turn back the clock. What? What, Evelyn? Well, I'm just trying to show him. I'm just trying to show not everybody wants to go back to how things were. She doesn't understand that I don't want to go back to how things were before my father found y'all. Not everybody wants to turn back the clock. <laughs> I love this scene way too much. Claps. Claps for that. You, you can Beautiful. crawl around underneath that filthy, rotten house. All you want, looking for them ingredients, but you ain't gonna find a goddamn thing, Ethan. You want to make that serum? Ooh, baby. <laughs> and of course, Ethan's uh, wonderful vocabulary, as always. His favorite word in the whole world. What do you say? Yeah. What do you say, Ethan? And ooh. He was sitting so close to that TV too. What a what a silly man. <laughs> I don't know how he didn't have more of a reaction to that, but, you know. <laughs> Alrighty, so the bomb rooms. rooms. We love these. Bombs. Just some simple quick shooting. And we're done. And that's it. Good aim. Right, usually we break that. Uh, hopefully there's a heal downstairs. Yeah, that, that crate right there is very RNG. It'll either have handgun bullets, a first aid, or shotgun shells. And nine times out of ten, if you want a first aid, there will be bullets in it instead. So, gotta love that. One shot zero eight one four. No, no, no. Zero six. Two one. 
No, 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 it's, it's zero, 0514. Five well, come on, take a chance, you never know. Uh, no. <laughs> no thanks. No, oh, thank you. I'll pass. <laughs> Alright, so... Put the keys first. Keys. Crank, arm, shotgun shells, knife, done. There you go. Yeah, you want to put your items away in a very specific order there because that sets up your menuing for the last part of the game. So, wait a minute. What happens if you type in the right answer? So if you type in the right answer, it will actually just change the password when you come back, mm -hmm. but nothing will happen. Yeah, it just, you have to go out of your way to get the new password, but I do think that new password stays the same. I can't, I can't even remember what the alternate password was. I thought there was like some sevens or something in it. I could be wrong. Mm, I think it, I can't actually remember what the password is for the alternate one. I never use it ever. Uh, yeah. Usually I'm just go to the fight and then put in the correct password. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna do the barn fight. All right, we gotta keep the battery. This one had a relatively new strat found for this too, um, which makes it way easier in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so you basically just use... Oh, is it heal? Sorry. Four enhanced shotgun... Uh, four enhanced two shotgun shells. So one, two, three, four, shotgun, shotgun. One, two, three, four, shotgun, shotgun. So four careful shots into the head, and then swap to shotgun. There you go. That's so you actually it. have to do your enhanced ammo shots there very slowly, because if you do it too quick, he'll start to choke himself out, and he That's takes like... absolutely no damage when he does that. So yeah. you got to be a little slower with your shots. But yeah, that's the barn fight. And that's it. Well done. GG easy. Easy clap. All right, and now my favorite part of the game. Like, this yeah. whole section was probably my favorite part of the game, uh, this Lucas section, just because, I don't know, it's it's got puzzles, it's got, you know, some fighting, it's got, you know, a whole array of things. Lucas is also just a great character, too, so it was, it was nice to see him in this area. Yeah, he's basically like a discount jigsaw. <laughs> basically. All right, so the password is 148. It's always 1408. 1408. Always, always. Unless you put it in early, then it's different. But after that, just put that in and you're good. Have a nice day. So one thing, one thing you notice Kat doing here, and she's been doing this throughout the whole course of the run. So um, as you can see, you don't have to be standing directly in front of an item to pick it up. You can actually be standing a little bit far away for that. So we call those, you know, max distance interactions, and those, you know, really, really help uh, bring your time down. So um, if you're ever looking for a way to cut your time down in any of these speedruns, you know, max distance max interactions. Max distance everything. <laughs> yeah. Pick up everything at max distance. And you can, yeah, interact with things with max distance, all that sort of stuff. Some things you want to be close to, say if, like, uh, you don't want, like, an animation pull. Mm-hmm. So certain things, like if you're, uh, so like that candle, for instance, when you're burning it, um, you don't want to be too close. Yeah, because then it'll like pull you back into like a different animation. Like he's, Ethan will be standing a little further back for that. All right. And the password is always loser. Always loser. Always five Damn. spaces up or down. Yeah, it's, I, I find it funny that it's always like the same spaces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very little RNG in this game in terms of um, puzzles and interactions like that. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, RNG is non-existent, essentially, because, like, you know, shadow puzzles start off in the same spot. That puzzle always starts off in the same spot. If someone ever tells you there's RNG in this run, they're lying. <laughs> yeah, the only RNG that exists is in the crates, and that's it. <laughs> yep. Are any Usually... of the uh, fights RNG at all or no? Nope. No, you can manipulate uh, enemy movements pretty much all the time basically if something didn't go proper or like if you if something went wrong in a fight or a section it's probably because you did it wrong yeah like um the march 2 boss fight essentially especially like you have to be standing at certain spots for her to do certain animations so um yeah there are a lot of, a lot of different uh ai manipulation that you can do yeah or like depending on where you shoot can really like manipulate the ai 
like headshots, chest shots, leg shots, stuff like that. Yeah, so pretty much no RNG exists here. <laughs> this is Which an is RNG nice, you know, free I'm, zone. I'm not complaining. Iframes, though, are a thing. True, yeah, that's probably one a big annoying thing here. Iframes in pretty much every boss fight and enemy, too. Alright, so it should always be right in that spot, no matter what. If you do your inventory correctly before, uh, when you're putting everything in the item box, your crank should always be uh, three down on the bottom left. Mm hmm Always be there. It'll always be there. <laughs> Alright, reload my shotgun, because I've had moments where I forgot to reload my shotgun, and I get to, like, the crawler, and I'm like, oh, yay! Let me reload my shotgun real quick to, so I can shoot you. All right, so we're going to be making our way to the lovely Jack 3, and that's going to be the final time we really get to interact with Jack. And he goes away forever. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! He goes into the DLC dimension. But yeah, the True. DLC, pretty much. <laughs> so pretty much the same with Zoe as well. True. A bunch of molded start to spawn here, but we can ignore them except for just one. <laughs> yeah. He's a bit of a tricky one. He's very mean. Nice. But we shoot him and we kill him and he's done. And he's gone. We ignore that I one though. Basically, as soon as Ethan uh, touches that molded, uh, you can just shoot him. Very easy. Zoe. What's up, so Zoe? we pay attention to Zoe here. Oh, we don't pay attention don't to Mia attend. because uh, Zoe's the one that Do makes the serum. Ingredients? So we don't really care what Mia has to offer at the moment. Right here. Mia. Sure enough, right? Yeah. If, any, if there's anything, we do pick Mia for the speed run because she's faster. She's uh, three minutes faster, actually. Three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three minutes, not 40. The, yeah, the cutscene with Zoe there on the boat is a little bit longer, and then you get an additional boss fight with Mia on the boat if you pick Zoe. So it's three minutes slower if you pick Zoe. All right. Or Zoe. Hey. Jack what 3. Iframes are a heavy thing with this boy. Um, as you can see, he has lots of eyes, which means iframes. Um, Get it? <laughs> Get there's it? a specific pattern you have to go with the eyes, uh, so we usually try to do it as quick as possible, but try to avoid the iframes. So we're going to go for the bottom eye first, ignoring his eye there. Nice. That is Reload. a very specific shot you have to get to Drop. kill him in one cycle. Reload. Shoot. Reload. Some and more. How did the iframes work here? Um, so you essentially have to wait for Jack to like stop doing certain animations here, and once you essentially have to wait just a few moments. So after you know he does particular animations or roars or anything like that, that's when you know you can shoot him. So we just really give it like a couple moments or so before um, we shoot into his eyeballs. Um, pretty much every single eyeball takes two shots, except um, there's two other eyeballs that die in one shot. So if yeah. if they uh, if you have to use more than two shotgun shells, it's more you definitely hit iframes. <gasps> yeah, it's oh, unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> so I kind of like to shimmy a little closer to this eye. Nice. Uh, because sometimes Ethan can miss, or, you know, I shot, like, iframes be damned, and, uh, you know, it doesn't hit correctly. So I like to get up and close right into his eyeball. That was a so really clean fight, though. Hit. GG's. It was. Yeah, that was a really good fight. Oh, question, though. Ethan, this way. How long were you cooking the iPod? <laughs> How long was I cooking the what? The iframes pun. Oh, oh, that's oh, I, I say it all the time. That's like the, the yeah, biggest that's like, meme. That's a go-to joke for everyone. <laughs> oh, I got a gold split on that one. What? Nice. Hey, right, good stuff. And you know, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> More hypes in the chat, everyone. There's some golds up in here. Can't complain about right? some free golds. Yeah. Come on. All right, so now we're going to be heading to our uh, our choice, our choice of the game, our only choice of the game, the choice that doesn't really matter much. Uh, well, only in a speedrun setting. <laughs> in a speedrun setting, it does matter, but yeah, you're kind of left with just a small choice. So it's There's Mia versus left. Zoe. We always There's pick Mia because she's faster. There can't just be one do you want to go oh, with the girl the we just met or now? our wife? 
I go for wife. Always wife. Hi, Zoe. I love you. You're you're it's beautiful, fine. but picking Mia it means that you live. All right. We're, we're I would have picked you. You would have died. Both True. Of you just go. Mia is technically canon. I'm, I'm sure there's right, something. shows up in RE8. Yeah. Only to, I, I guess, get shot. That we know of. That we know of. That we know of. Also, Cat has a hedgehog named Zoe. Yeah, my little baby girl. <laughs> so, funny story is that uh, I got a hedgehog from a friend of a friend. Uh, and when I got her, I was just like, oh, what's your name? And she's like, oh, her name's Zoe. And I'm like, that is hilarious uh, on how... How ironic that is, but uh, yeah, so her original name was Avocado, <laughs> but then they changed, yeah, so it's Avocado, but then they changed it to Zoe, so it's Zoe Avocado Link. Oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> He's a little cutie. We love Zoe. Yeah, my, my chat, I think, loves Zoe more than me. <laughs> Ethan? All so, right. Thank you. Now we're on to the best section of the whole game. Just Don't kidding. we just love boats? <laughs> oh, hey, I know, uh, in RE4, they are complaining about the boat in this game earlier. Yeah. Yep. Because there's a boat in RE4 that apparently is bad, and they just said every RE, but the boat apparently has terrible sections. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're, they're not wrong. Uh, yeah, no. Mike was not wrong. <laughs> yeah. I honestly don't really this is like where, probably where the game just kind of slowly dies off a bit uh, for a lot of people, just because it's basically a giant information dump section. A lot of lore you can read, but obviously we don't really read that, but we just get to learn a little bit more about Mia and what she was up to for the last three years. How this tanker is in a bayou, I just want to I just want to say that. I was a tanker in a bayou. <laughs> and how has no one noticed it for three years? I mean, they're on Louisiana, right? Yeah. yeah. I guess it could be right, like the the bayou meets the water of the Mississippi River. That would go into the- Like the Gulf, I think the Gulf of Mexico, right? I mean, yeah, I guess so. I'm I'm terrible at geography. Don't ask my chat. They will, uh, they will say, not so great things about my At geography. At the very least, I can say it is possible, but incredibly unlikely. Yeah, <laughs> definitely unlikely. But it unlikely. is geographically possible that the tanker could be there. It's more, how is the tanker still there, I wonder? Yeah, that's the main thing. How is it still here after three years? And how is it? Yeah. How has no one reported it or gone inside or nothing? But yeah, yeah. we're here as Mia now. Get to play as Mia. Also, how Ethan got here, I will never know. So the funny thing about this is that if you pick Zoe, you still play as Mia. And how she got over there, Wait. we have no idea. Like, did she swim or something? <laughs> Wait, yeah, she really? just swam. Yeah, if you yeah. pick Zoe, you still play as Mia. It doesn't make any sense. What? But it's a huh. thing. Yeah. And the only thing that's different is the cutscene, like on the way there, and then you know you get the Mia boss fight. But other than that, no, you still do the whole uh, ship section as Mia. Yep. Again, the choice that doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think they wanted to give you a choice in, in hopes of like, oh yeah, like replayability, you know? Sure. <laughs> so two different choices. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, not much, not much changes, unfortunately. You yes, would so... hope there would be, but... <laughs> so the route here in the ship is pretty straightforward and linear, so uh, we don't have to worry too much about things here. So we just have to get from point A to point B as quick as possible. Yeah, it's uh, not a really execution-heavy section, although there is certain things that require a bit of, like, focus, like Alan one skip. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, chat meet Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum. Hello. <laughs> They're the exact same. Same model. <laughs> I don't think I ever noticed that until you pointed that out. Yeah, I noticed it one day too and I was like, wait, what? Are these people the same? Like, what is this? Hello? <laughs> so I called them Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to be heading off to, uh, 
grab the fuse or somehow get out of here slash figure out what's going on here. And find We're gonna Ethan. do a quick retry. Yeah, we gotta go find Ethan. That's a nice retry because, um, you know, you don't get to see Mia fall and stand up. You retry and she's already standing up and we can just go. Yeah, sometimes that retry can be a little tricky though because it can, uh, if you if you don't have the game on an SSD, uh, you can lose a lot of time on that. Uh, you do need this game on an SSD though. I will say that if you ever plan on running this game and you plan on doing it on PC, you if you don't have an SSD, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> yeah, some of the retries can lose time um, if you if, if your game is not installed on an SSD. Mm-hmm. It's quite unfortunate, really. Does the retry um, count against your in-game timer, or is it just like physical time? Uh, it's just physical time. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Uh, you don't need to do it. Like if you're doing like I don't know, RTA for whatever reason, uh, which you shouldn't be. You should be doing IGT, but. Mm -hmm. For RTA sake, like say a marathon setting, like it, the timer obviously is still gonna keep going. Right. Uh, but in IGT it stops anytime you press yeah. the pause. You said we could be a family. You said. What are you talking about? Creepy child, <laughs> creepy child in a <laughs> horror game. Not a common uh, trope so at all. What are creepy little stereotype. That's what I call it. <laughs> Bye, sir. Ignore him. He's not important. I just wanted the fuse. Thank you very much, sir. All right. And now we're going to be making our way to the videotape. The Everybody's flashback. least favorite part. Flashback videotape and why they were still using videotapes in the year 2017 uh, or 2013, wherever. Um, good question. We don't know. Archive reasons? Sure. I guess. <laughs> Watch it. What? Maybe they just really like Blockbuster. Uh, maybe, I guess. But then they this still have to lug around millions. the big video camera. <laughs> oh, Alan! Best character in the game. Alan. Cat loves Cat loves Alan. She must have infected me during the attack. <laughs> Alan, the biggest time waster. This is probably the worst reset point, like, or a retry point. Like, if you ever try to uh, practice this section, you have to listen to him yap and yap and yap for, like, three minutes. It's my probably less, less than that, but still. Yeah. But thankfully, we get to skip a phone call, and uh, we get to move around while he's talking on another phone call. So we get to ignore him as much as we can. Oh, yeah, it's great. Hopefully, I don't screw that up, but should be fine. You'll be just fine. Yeah. So basically, it's just a lot of uh, quick movement and making sure that you turn around at the earliest you can, like basically right away. We were talking about max distance interactions earlier. This is another case where we'll be doing this for the Allen one skip. So Kat will be going into this kitchen, uh, interacting with the mold. She's going to set up at a very specific spot, interact with the mold at max distance, and run out the door, making sure the doors open first. And oh Done. man, that was so good! It was so fast. <laughs> oh yeah, I always get super nervous, super nervous about that because sometimes I do it too fast and I miss it. No, like Cat legit executed like pro, like top top runner strats there. Like being able to do that skip that fast is so gnarly. So well done. So that's one of those skips where if you end up, you know, I mentioned that if you normally have Japanese on, you save a lot more time, but this pretty much negates having the different languages. Yeah, so that skip actually saves 17 seconds. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so because you, uh, get off my elevator. <laughs> uh, because you skip his call, usually you can't leave that room. So because you skipped it, you just save 17 seconds. If you don't skip it, you lost a lot of time and it's basically an instant reset. Yeah. Unless, you know, you have pound. a bunch of time to save. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the next one uh, coming up will be the one that saves uh, 0.5 seconds on... Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, 0.5 seconds on uh, Japanese or any other language, really. And so we're going to do the double door bomb skip. All right, hello. Please don't put that evil on me. Nice. 
Yeah, so Kat's gonna set her bomb right outside this door and we're gonna pick up a corrosive and then start another, um, we're gonna start another cutscene right up here. But yeah, so Kat is starting like the first bit of the Allen 2 skip and then we're gonna execute the last bit of it a little bit later. Yeah, you still unfortunately have to listen to uh, Alan Yap, but it's not as bad. Yeah. At least we can still progress forward, which is something we wouldn't normally get to do if the doors were still closed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Alan really likes to keep you in. Uh, he doesn't like to let you out until yeah. you're done talking to him. The big reason we hate him so much. Mm -hmm. So yeah, once this phone call starts to ring, Kat will go up these stairs. We'll start the next part of the Alan 2 skip. She's gonna line up at a very specific spot at the door and then detonate the bomb and then spam confirm on her keyboard to push herself through the door and we can progress forward while, while we're on this phone. Ah, oh, god damn it, it was too far. That's okay. <laughs> That's totally okay. Dang it, man. Yeah, that, that happened that in my practice too. I'm... It's okay. It's, it's okay. It only it only loses like three seconds. It's yeah. really not too bad. Hitting the first Allen skip, I feel, is, is definitely way more important than the second one, just because of how much time save you get there. I thought that was a lot closer. I could have sworn that was a lot closer. I thought closer. it was closer too. It was interesting. It's all good though. Alrighty. All right, so we shoot and... him. Oof, oh, we through. didn't get hit. Thank God. Yeah. So Thank going goodness. through that part is super nerve wracking just because those molded are so aggro there. So I'm glad you did not take any damage there. Uh, hello, Mia? Now is not the time? <laughs> she right. looks up at her watch at the most inconvenient times right here. It's so obnoxious. <laughs> well done though. I, you know what? As long as I'm not in critical here, because unfortunately Mia takes a ton more damage and her critical state is a lot longer than Ethan's. Mm -hmm. And it can it's just so slow and miserable and you just don't want it. So at least we're not in that. Yeah. It's all I could ask for. Because basically by this point, she, she would still be in critical. And then you have another big boy right here who would also knock you into critical or kill you. But um, since Kat is really good on health, then we're good to go. Yeah, and usually if you do a certain specific line with him, he shouldn't hit you. Uh, but if you do get body blocked, you can switch to 30 FPS to get by him a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not too fond of switching to 30 FPS uh, because being on 30 FPS means you can lose time. Which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And now we can take a deep breath and uh, deal with Alan for a little bit, but we're almost done. Alan's How gone! Soon. <laughs> he had too much Taco Bell. He's, had, he's, got, a, he's got a tummy ache. You shouldn't have sped ran the food. True. He, he was trying to call us the first time to ask if we wanted some Taco Bell, but, you know, he, he ate all of it. And now he's paying the she paying the unfortunate toll of it. That little bitch, she never trusts. Okay, wait. He should have stuck with Evie, the potatoes. Evie, Alan, the potatoes are pretty good. Didn't mm -hmm. they remove those from the menu? No, they they literally just came back uh, the other day. Wait, really? Yes, they just came back. Oh, hey. Well then, there we go. Surprise for everyone here. Uh, Taco Bell potatoes. Although he's are spitting up black gunk and uh, dying, so maybe it's not the. I mean, maybe, maybe not the best. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll avoid that option. He did call Evie a bad name, though, so that's what happened. Yeah, but Ethan and Mia call her a bad name later, and what happens then? She really doesn't like Alan. Uh, no, no one likes Alan. I mean, e e Evie's just expressing how we feel with Alan. Poor Alan, Sinister? man. <laughs> All right, bye, buddy. It was nice knowing you. Now we're officially infected with uh, the mold. <laughs> Bye, baby. All right, time to go. We're finally at the end of the phone call. Somehow we heal up after all of that, uh, all that after that cutscene. Don't know why, but we're actually going to be coming up to the first cutscene that we can actually skip. Not before this guy, though. Ooh. <laughs> They'll be together forever. Alright, 
skip. There you go. <laughs> skip the movie. I like how they call it a movie. It's like a 30-second movie. It's a short film, if you will. I mean, it had like all those lens flares and reflections and everything yes, like know. that in there. So it definitely, definitely had to be a movie. Like oh, for sure. No, now we got a cheap jump scare. I don't come need you anymore. We will never be cheap a jump family. scare. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Good old Evie. All right, now we're going to be on a fetch quest to fix the elevator that broke in the videotape. Yep. So fun fact, actually, uh, the one of the writers for this game was actually the writer for Fear. So if you often seen some similarities with Evie in particular to Alma, could be why. <laughs> Thought that was a fun fact. If 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 anybody has played Fear, uh, you'll you'll see a lot of the same sort of creepy little stereotypes. Yeah, I actually did not know that because I've never played Fear. So when you said that, I was like, oh, well, nice fun fact. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting fun fact. All right, give me that. Uh, thank you. Gimme. Gimme. What's nice about this section, because uh, the videotape is just so much, it's, it's, it's long and it's a drag, but this part where you fix the elevator is very short and sweet. So um, we'll, be, we'll be done with this fairly quickly. It, it bothers me we can't interact with that <laughs> like that. I, I don't know why. You have to like wait till you get up from your animation and then go. All right, God door. God door, please. God door, don't be don't be mean. Don't bully me, please. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> so what we're talking about with God door, so um, Cat opened up the door at like the last possible moment ran in, grabbed the corrosive, turned around, and then went out the door before the door closed. So we call that God Door. And it saves, you know, a couple seconds if you're able to hit it. So really nice. Yeah, some, it just likes to close on you. So I got it just in time yeah. where it, like, closed on my butt and it yeah. kind of boosted me a bit, which was not, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, that was good. All right, we're going to cancel Mia getting up real quick and just go up the yeah, ladder yeah. instead. Yeah, that's a nice one that was um, started being being used recently. Yes. Saves like a second or so, right? Uh, yeah, give or take. Like, probably not more than a second, but mm -hmm. at least like a little bit under a second. We have a friend right here. We're just gonna right phase right through him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we got business to attend to, sir. Thank you very much for your due diligence. Goodbye. All right. We're just gonna get ourselves the things we need to make the elevator go again. Uh, unfortunately, somehow we need a power fuse and a power cable. Don't know why this power cable would work on an elevator. I, 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 I but it, it, it does. Surprised this place even has power. But hey, we're not questioning it. Yep. Yeah. yeah there's, our, that's that's true. Why does this boat have power? <laughs> it's been three years. <laughs> Somehow laptop is still charged and on after three years. The lights are still on. VCR and TV work. Sure as sure as heck they you know, the if there were generators they'd be gone by now. Or the gas or would drive or something. Emptied. So that's a bit of quick menuing we do there. That menu is actually kind of a pain in the butt to do. Uh, it does take some time to get used to it, but if you do it correctly, it's quick. Yeah, that was super quick. Did I guess you stood in the middle of the two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you want to look at the power cable first and then the fuse. Waiting. Yeah. Because your cursor will already be on the power cable. All right. Last little bit here where some friends will try and stop you, but it's okay because we, we can just run right by oh, them. Oh, put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> oh, thank you. I uh, love when he does that. I love when he moves out of the way. He's just like, oh, I see you're attending to things. Okay, let me move. <laughs> He's polite. He's very nice. He's He can be a nice boy or he can be a very angry boy. We're just mm -hmm. going to squeeze right past this boy because uh, that's all it takes. You don't have to worry about him too much. You can go the other way around him, but that's the fastest way. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, creepy little stereotype. And Ethan. 
And Ethan, we finally found our our husband. Oh. Oh, da, 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 da. I almost did the bad. I almost did a bad thing. We'll the retry them. there just loads you into this cutscene quicker. And this is another one where um, if you don't have the game installed on an SSD, it would lose you time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, only if you have um, have the game on the SSD would you uh, do this retry. Oh, I know, I know. Our final cutscene with uh, with hey, Jack here. Yeah, we got we got Jack, we got Please. Zoe, and we got March. <laughs> Uh, yeah, very bright and, you know, no, luminous. No, no, She's beautiful. Even Zoe here. And March. Don't forget about March, Jack. <laughs> you know, your wife. She it's now a lantern. What the hell is she? Now, what is she she now here? possesses the spirit of the lantern. Yep. Because she, she just loved her lantern so much. She had to become the lantern. <laughs> I always like how Jack oh, makes it seem like Zoe is like the worst of all of them. Like, oh, we're not monsters, not even Zoe here. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, oh, none of us are monsters. Uh, maybe except for Lucas. Lucas was the only one. No. Yeah. Lucas is actually crazy. A uh, little, little tad bit crazy. Uh, you do get to find out more about Lucas just... in the DLC, but... Mm -hmm. This is a nice cutscene, though. Um, it's probably my second favorite cutscene in the game, just because um, you get to see Jack Baker being so nice and wholesome, and he's not so mean. You are connected to her, and you. Jack kind of reminds me of my dad a little bit. It's like the guy who lives out in the woods and is just like really wholesome. different person after that. Everyone needs a Jack in their life, but as long as he's not crazy and infected with mold. Yeah, thankfully, my dad's not crazy and or infected with mold, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> She's the key, all right? You find her, and you stop, stop her. Yeah, this is like the one, like, cutscene where you're like, oh, Jack is actually such a sweetheart. You just want to give him a hug. <laughs> so, it's okay, buddy. We will we will fight for your honor. So if you chose Zoe back at the dock, this part right here is where the Mia boss fight would take place. But okay. since we chose Mia, we will not be doing any of that. Nope. Uh, Mia will just immediately throw us out. But yeah, if you did pick her, you would have to fight Mia again. Basically, the fight is like the attic fight that you would do at the beginning of the game with Mia, uh, except for in this case, you would use a crowbar. And, so yeah. There's no, like, crazy strat or even, like, um, clipped, you know, damage that we could do, like, with the axe or anything like that. It's just a, it's a very silly weapon. Yeah, you just do exactly what, you just hit her a bunch with heavy attacks and, and she's done. And then Ethan shows no emotion when she dies. Ethan is an emotionless person, I swear. <laughs> also, hi, Evie. Does he okay. just, like, react the same as he does to, like, a TV exploding in front of him? Yep. Well, he just, he just, like, Mia disintegrates in front of him, and he's just like, Mia, why? And that's it. <laughs> Mia, why? That's why, it. Mia? <laughs> why would you die? <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe because you killed her, but... Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. Another bad name. Mia. She doesn't die. No. I guess because Evie just wanted a mom. True. All right, we're, um... Now heading towards the last part of the game. Salt mines. Good old salty mines where sometimes, for the most part, the run doesn't hate you. Yeah. It's a pretty straightforward section, thankfully. It's just a lot of go here, go there, do this. Okay. <laughs> One thing that uh, we didn't note, but uh, Kat picked up some shotgun shells right at the end of the Jack 3 boss fight. And those were the last shotgun shells. That was like our last, you know, ammo pickup essentially for the shotgun. And we're gonna be using pretty much, you know, only like six or so or four, I think, shotgun shells here in the salt mines. So that's all you basically need. So um Yeah. Otherwise I would have had like either two shotgun shells left or none at all. Mm -hmm. And that that that's just unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, because to my knowledge, I don't think there's any shotgun shells on the way. There might be mm -hmm. some, like, in that little salt mines gauntlet, but, um, yeah, it's nice. It's nice that you pick up those shotgun shells and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and because we do our inventory in a certain way, we should always have the shotgun. All right, we're going to pick up the enhanced ammo there. Pick up the grenade launcher and on our way out. We used to pick up all of our items there, but we actually mm -hmm. do it later in the run because it saves a bit more time and... Doesn't waste as much. All right, don't put this evil on me. 
Don't do it. Be nice, please. All right, they're being nice. Ooh, he might hit me. Oh, no, he because he was politely. Yeah, some of them right. will kind of do a cheap shot on you on the way here, but yeah, as long as they don't uh, <laughs> hit you on the way there or, you know, get into the elevator, you're good to go. Ethan's hand just went fully around there for a second. <laughs> I don't want to state that. That was weird. My goodness. All right. Yeah, so uh, before we used to kind of shoot the little wire trap in the back with the handgun, but now that we just have our grenade launcher with our one flame round, um, we're just gonna kind of shoot the flame round in between the crawler and the trap, and they will both nope. be gone. That's, That's okay. <laughs> I shot. Well, it's because sometimes he like starts to lunge at you a little soon. Uh, mm -hmm. So sometimes I just like to kill him and then block the bomb. You can block bombs in this pretty easily. It doesn't really lose you any time. Yeah. Uh, and, it's... and it's just easier to block instead of taking the damage because then you fall over and then you go into like caution. And... Yeah. As, as long yeah. as you're just looking at the bomb as you're blocking it, you won't take as much damage. Yeah. And I think I'm fully healed right now, so. So far, no hits, and the yeah. crawler shouldn't come down, and it should be just him. Yeah. Yeah. We don't kill any molded on the way here. Just that one crawler there at the beginning, and that's it. Well, the one crawler, and then the one that gets in the middle of the, uh, gets in the way of the car thing. What do you call it? The minecart? The minecart. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's the word. You're good. And um, Kat has pointed out before, if there's like, if you're low on health, there's like a steroid in here you can pick up or something like that. Oh yeah, there's a steroid, there's also herbs you can do, but steroid is a little bit nicer. So we pick up our items, we get their neuro round from the desk, and then uh, get all that, and then pick up our necrotoxin. Super, super simple. Easy peas. All right. I should have the shotgun. We're gonna actually change this out to the neuro round, so we're gonna be using that in a bit. But first, we're just gonna go uh, a little gun ho on the uh, on the shotgun, you know? Yeah. Have a good time with it, you know. Remember some good times with the shotgun. Our beautiful shotgun, best gun in the game. I love this shotgun. So you know, I never knew this was a salt mine. I thought it was like a. I actually didn't think what kind of mine it was. I, I forgot the salt could be mined. <laughs> Yep. All right, cats. So we're gonna do the retry yep. here because the retry here uh, makes Ethan go real fast. <laughs> if yeah. you don't do it, it's real slow. Yeah, his movement speed is boosted a ton, and if you don't do that retry, uh, you lose about 13 seconds. So when you're running and on the any... mold to catch up to you. <laughs> if you're running uh, any easy difficulty, whether it's new game or new game plus, you always want to do that retry right there. Yep. All right. I might what happens if you run things like uh, normal or madhouse? You don't do um, madhouse. You don't do the retry there. Or I don't even think there's a retry that pops up there. There's very few. No. Uh, I don't. Oh wait, there's not checkpoints, right? Yeah, yeah there's very few auto saves. Retries for madhouse are very uh, unforgiving, to say the least. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Just put it in between them and just go. Well done. That was a that was a good salt mines. If they puke on me right now, I'm gonna be so upset. No, nah, that neural round uh, hit them. That should yeah. be fine. You're good. It's good. Yes. All right. She made it, folks. We did it. All right, pretty much home free now. All right, so I should I grab the heal? If you want to. I'll grab it anyway. Yeah. Now look where we're back. We're back at the guest house. So since we're on all the flashbacks, I think right now is a good time. Uh, Kat, do you have any shout outs you want to give to anyone? Uh, first, I want to give a shout out to uh, Marforia, my commentator today. Uh, she's lovely. You guys should go check her out. Um, she does a lot of speedrunning as well for RE7. She also does a lot of stuff like Sonic or DDR stuff. Uh, so please go check her out. Uh, I also want to give out a shout out to uh, Ross Rossi, Captain Ezekiel, uh, Yossi Hop, and as well as ZGL. And as well as just the whole RE7 community in general, they are probably like some of my favorite people. Absolutely adore them. Um, they just helped me so much during my, you know, four years of running this game and have discovered new skips. 
done so much with, you know, making this game as fast as possible. So please uh, give them some love. And if you're interested in speedrunning RE7, join the RE7 Discord. You know, RE8 is coming out soon and the community itself is just so helpful. So yeah, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, or just, you know, love to see some new runners. Yeah, the RE7 community is super supportive. Um, you know, there's tons of new runners, you know, coming in, you know, especially with the hype of RE8, nice. and we're always help. We're always happy to help out folks. Nah. We have tons of great resources too, and we'd be happy to have you. And honestly, the main reason I know Kat and myself have stayed with this run for so long is just from how awesome the community is. Oh yeah, I wouldn't. I uh, probably wouldn't keep running this game with community. <clears throat> wasn't as good as it is. Um, so yeah, if you if you want a community that's very supportive, this is the one. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try for the EV1 cycle, and we'll be going to a very specific. Oh, nice, nice! Oh, well yeah, we got you. <laughs> Everyone, yes. let's I get some. That. Let's get some claps. Gonna, gonna go nice clap for that. Oh, let's get some claps. I hate that skip so much. Yeah, so that is such a clutch get... moment. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, so you could actually get blown back there. Uh, so if you don't look at a certain spot, or if you're not, like, if you go try to directly in front of her, she'll push you back. But if you're a little bit on her left-hand side, easy. You get, you should get it every time, uh, unless Ethan decides to slow down for whatever. It hurts. Um, you but that was yeah. it is so nerve-wracking trying to go for the one cycle on like your pb pace or world record pace but oh, man, Kat killed it, so many of my runs <laughs> i hate it hey that makes up for the uh the marge fight now right here of course you see it's the hardest boss fight in the entire game oh this this fight is so hard it is the hardest fight you just do 18 quick shots with the enhanced ammo on the pistol, and it's done. Or in New Game Plus, you use the circular saw, and then it's done. <laughs> and that's it. Definitely the hardest boss in the entire game. The hardest, the scariest, all sorts of stuff. Now, do you let us know when time comes up, but yeah, this is yeah. pretty much home. It's going to be coming up soon. Um, I'll call it, because it's when the, when the screen fades yeah. to black. So this part here, you don't want to shoot her or anything like that, because this this is an auto-scroller. <laughs> yeah. So we just kind of sit here and wait for her to pick us up. I just like to spam my block. Because <laughs> Ethan's hand goes through the gun for some reason. It's very silly. All right, so we're going to wait for her to pick us up, and then we'll gain control again. There we go. Two shots right into her arm. You can do that either way. Sometimes the shotgun. the shotgun shell does not hit and it gets very annoying. <laughs> but yeah. we got it. Yeah, that was that was good. You can do that with either the shotgun or the handgun. But yeah, shotgun is always good just because, you know, those those uh, shots are a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, for sure. Alright, then our All Albert. Right. So we're gonna instantly start shooting with the Albert. And she should be dead. Yeah, be the four to five shots. Let's see. And, and the four shots. Shot. Yay! Good job! You did it! GG's, GG's! GG's, and time will be called in just a moment. As soon as the screen fades to black, it's all over. Ugh. And... And... <laughs> Yay! All right, there so it's about 132 24 nice. or so, I think. Hey, can't complain. That's RTA too, so that's counting like yeah, all... about, about a mid 132 for RTA. Probably lower the IGT. Uh, my we'll see. Well, yeah. The IGT was a 13107. Uh, we'll see on the end just to confirm because I know we like of all the Resident Evil games, we always have that end confirmation. But yeah, gotta have let's the enjoy screen. your cutscene here. All right, hold on. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Yes, this is Chris Redfield. Not my Chris, or some people would say this. He just looks so different. It's okay. <laughs> Not it's bad. So, so weird. specifically, 132-33 RTA. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. The fuck took you guys so long? And all right. 
Yeah, you can skip all these. All right, let's see that IGT. Although you already know it, because I know your splits are up. Yeah. You got a golden pack. Wow. 131.07. GG's kind of you, you did so good. That was not GG. bad. With all good. the mistakes, honestly, I had a lot of fun. Uh, thank you, Igdysis. I want to give a shout out to Igdysis as well. Uh, well he's thank been you. Absolutely fabulous with putting this all together. A uh, lot of awesome runners and just an awesome runner himself. So please uh, go go give him some love or just give some hearts and chat for Ignisus. Uh, But thank you very much for having me here. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. We have another run coming up, which is going to be the RE Zero run with Failmore, I believe. Uh, so we do, but before that, actually two things. Sure. One, can we have a clap and chat for Catlink and Marforia? Just clapping, clap of any sort. And then two, if people want to find you on Twitch, where can they find you or elsewhere? You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash catlink. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, which is also catlink. Pretty much everywhere is just catlink. Uh, if you want to find me, I'm usually live in the middle of the night. I am a degen. I am a night owl. I enjoy the spoopy hours. Uh, some people, it's their day. But yeah, if you want to come check it out, um, yeah. If you like the comfy streams or a stream to sleep to, hi. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, it's but... definitely fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, oh. that should be uh, that. Sh that should be it. All right. Good. Before we go on to the next run, do you guys have anything you want to add? Anything left? Uh, again, uh, if you're interested in speedrunning RE7, uh, definitely join the Discord. Uh, we have tons of people who would be willing to. You know, come into your stream and help, or just, you know, answer your questions. There's even guides on how to speedrun the game, new game, new game plus. Um, I myself, I, I, I'm very active in the community and I'm just very excited. And also, RE8 is coming out. So, yay! <laughs> Gotta get ready. Thank um, you. And again, thank you again, Mar, for helping me tonight. Uh, yeah. You're, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, Kat. I much, much love and appreciation. You did, you did such a good job. So proud of you and oh, your progress. I, I did my best. <laughs> you did good. All right. Uh, as well, I can attest that learning RE7 is a very nice experience. I ended up learning the game at one point. And it was a very welcoming experience. For anyone who wants to get into Resident Evil 7, there, there you go. It's yeah. very fun. It's a very easy run to learn. Very hard to master, but very easy to learn. Uh, as long as you don't get frustrated and you don't reset too much, you should be good. All right, so now uh, we're going to be going more into the origins of Resident Evil. Our next run is going to be Resident Evil Zero, and we're going to be setting up for that. Uh, we'll be right back very quick. We're going to take a quick wellness break while we set up for the next run. Uh, so that being said, you know, make sure you stand up, stretch your legs. It's always good. Get some water. Stay healthy. Uh, we're going to be right back very quick, so don't you go anywhere. And as well, if you're watching this on YouTube and like to support our live content, please consider checking us out on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash games done quick. We're going to be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 